What's good, BitRushers? My name is Kyler, and this is BitRush Crypto. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to stake Akash, as well as how to set up a web wallet for the Akash network. If that sounds good, please do stick around, but if you're new around here, make sure you sub to the channel, bell to be notified on all future videos. If you'd like early access, 99 cents will get you that with the members only. You can find links in the description for all of my investment projects, the DeFi Brains Fund and the Rush Fund, as well as all my social media. I recently created a new Twitter. My old one had got banned, and so I do have a new one now. You guys can find the link for that in the description below as well. It is at DeFi Brains with the Z. Go ahead and tap that thumbs up. And let's get into the video. Starting out today's video over at CoinGecko, we can see Akash AKT is currently sitting at a price of $2.86 as of today's video. Down a little bit, uh, market cap's down to $195 million. And you can see it's kind of just fell off a little bit from over $3 all the way down here. We are having kind of a big market correction. Uh, however, it's still, I think, a good price to possibly get in here if you guys are interested. As always on this channel, not financial advice. Always do your own research and your own due diligence. Never invest more money than you can personally afford to lose. Since the entire market is down, I decided just to make a small investment because I don't know if the market's going to continue to drop. And I really don't want to put that much funding into a smaller um market cap coin like this if the whole entire market's going to continue to drop we can possibly get a better deal in the future however i do want to start up getting my staking going so i did purchase a small amount just full disclosure on my situation here the next thing you're going to need to do is to be able to set up an account somewhere and purchase yourself some akt the main trading pair is usdt so tether you're going to have to get some tether and here, let's look at the trading pairs. If we come down, these are all the different trading pairs. So you do have a Ethereum pair at Gate.io, which is what I did. If you guys would like to um, you know, set up an account on Gate.io, it is a little bit difficult for the KYC. You have to do like a gang sign for each number um, in your account and take a picture of it and send it to them to verify. So it's pretty crazy. Um, but other than that, it's pretty smooth once you get through. It just takes about a day for the KYC. If you guys would like to use um, a link in the description, it will help out the channel if you want to use Gate.io or otherwise just set up an account at any one of these other places and get on there and trade for some AKT. I'm going to assume you guys know how to do that. And the next thing we're going to do is just to set up a wallet. Personally, I like the Kepler wallet. I already had it set up for another account, and so I decided just to stay with this. There is another option um, available if you guys want to check out Cosmos Station. Um, they have an app and everything as well, but I chose to do this. Just like I said, it's easy for me, and I already had one set up. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a new one here. So we're going to come to wallet.kepler, and it's K-E-P-L-R dot app. As soon as you get there, if you're using the Chrome browser, it tells you to install the extension. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Brings you to the Chrome store and you can add to Chrome, add extension. There we go. We're not going to turn on sync. The next thing you need to do if you're on Chrome is just click on that puzzle piece and click the tack to pin it to your board here. And that's pretty much it with that. We can click let me look around here and you can see the um, the overall dashboard and everything. Obviously we don't have it installed so it's not syncing up. So we need to come over here and get an account set up. So there's two ways to do it. Um, we can sign in with Google. We can create a new account. We can import an existing account. We can import a ledger. Last time I signed in with Google and it seemed to work good. So I'm going to do that again. To name your account, this one's going to be BitRush9000. Go ahead and choose a password. Make sure it's good because you will need this to get in. Next, we're going to use our email for uh, Gmail if that's what you have. If not, guys, you can go ahead and set this up like a normal wallet. If you don't have a Gmail, you just memorize your seed phrase, um, write it down, make sure you have it in a secure place, just like you would any other wallet. I think this is easier for me, so I'm just going to do it this way. And once you're signed in with Google and everything synced up the way you want, it will just automatically set it up and it says you're all set. 
Now clicking on the top right, we can see that account, Bitrush, and we have a um, address set up right here. So what we want to do next is come to the very top where it says Cosmos and click down and just choose our network. So our network's going to be Akash. And we now have our Akash address we can send our Akash coins to. Okay, I've gone ahead and made that transaction, sent my AKT Akash from my Gate.io wallet into my Kepler Akash wallet. And if we come up, we should now be able to see that. So we're on Akash and there it is, just over a hundred dollars, which equals about 36.4 AKT. Keep in mind that on the AKT network, you're going to need to keep a few AKT to pay for your transaction fees. So when we do the staking, make sure you do not stake all of your AKT as you're going to need a few of them in your wallet to, to withdraw, send and receive and any other transactions you might want to do on the network. So to do this next part, you can do it right from the wallet. However, I think it's easier to do on the web dashboard. So we're going to come over to the wallet.kepler.app dashboard. And from here, we want to come down to the side where we can see Akash and click on stake. This brings up all of the different validator nodes. And from here, you can choose which node you think is best for you. Again, not financial advice here on this channel, so make sure you do your own due diligence. What I will say is that um, one right here, we have the commission. This is how much percentage of what you earn that they're going to take. So the higher the commission percent, the less you make. So right here, 100%, they're going to take all of your AKT. So I would not do something like that. And then we have ones that here are zero, so they're not taking anything from you. The other thing to keep in mind is that some of the most popular ones here have a larger vote just to help decentralize the network. If you guys care about that, you may want to choose someone that is maybe lower on the list with a lower percentage of the vote to help decentralize the network. When one validator starts to get too large of a percentage compared to the other ones, they then hold a large percentage of the vote on the network, which is never good for decentralization. So I'm going to try to find one a little bit lower on the list here if we can, and hopefully find something for a lower percentage. Coming down to about rank number 14, we have Chain Node Tech, which has just under 2 million AKT. They, they have 1 million 718,458 AKT. So a good amount of AKT. They're not that small. However, um, you know, they're not one of the top ones. So we're helping to decentralize the network. Not that I'm putting a large amount in anyway, but um, just doing my part here. And they are a 0% commission. So that's really good for me. We're going to keep all of what we earn. We're going to click manage when you find one that you would like. Again, not financial advice, guys. Um, but you can find one you'd like and just click manage on that and it's we're going to choose delegate. And it gives you the warning here staking will lock your funds for 21 days. Um, you'll need to undelegate in order for your staked assets to be liquid again. This process takes 21 days. So if you guys want to sell these at any point, keep in mind you're looking at about a 21 day unstaking period, almost a full month. Again, we're going to choose the amount of AKT, Akash, we'd like to stake. Do not choose all of it as you need a little bit in your wallet to make sure you can pay for transaction fees on the network. So I'm going to do 35 and leave um, one and a half basically left in my wallet. If you guys want to leave more or less, that's up to you, but make sure you do have a little bit there. And when you have the right amount, go ahead and just click Delegate. You're going to have to approve on your wallet. Again, you're going to have to pay this fee. You could see a one cent fee or a two cent fee is going to be high. And that fee is 00625 for the average. So just, you know, um, seeing what that fee would be and how much you're going to need to keep. One should be plenty um, to cover most network fees you're going to need to do if all you're doing is staking. Transaction is pending. And there we go, successful. Now when we click manage here, we can see my delegation, 
35. And if we wanted to undelegate, we could do that here. Or if we want to redelegate, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Maybe when you have more in your wallet or whatever, you come back and redelegate those funds. Uh, but that's basically it, guys. It's pretty simple and easy. Uh, just finding the one you'd like and clicking delegate, paying that small fee, and there you go. You now have um, rewards building, and here you can see claim reward, zero AKT. Obviously, we haven't earned any as we just started staking a second ago, but this is where you'll come back and be able to claim those, and that's most likely what we're going to do with that redelegate is once you've claimed some and you have more in your wallet and you want to put more in, you can use that button to add to um, that fund. I believe you could also delegate to multiple um, people. So if you had, um, you know, enough where you wanted to split them, maybe between multiple validators, you could do that as well. I'm pretty sure I'm not hundred percent on that, but maybe we'll possibly do that. And pretty easy process overall. I really like the Kosh network bullish on this project. I'm going to keep adding to this again, guys. I don't know what's going on with the price action in the market here. So I didn't want to spend a whole lot but once we kind of stable out in the market, I'm probably going to buy a little bit more USD value here. Um, right now, just starting out with that $100 and we'll see what we get. I hope you guys did enjoy the content though. If you learned something and you enjoyed this, please do make sure you smash the thumbs up. Share it with a friend or family member. Throw it on social media. Um, if you're not already, do sub to the channel. Bell to be notified. 99 cents will get you early access to most content. Happy crypto. Let's keep getting that coin.